I see a lighthouse sitting there in all that wood. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. I am so happy that you're able to join me today. Today is gonna to be a special project. When this video comes out, it will be my dad's 80th birthday. He was in the Coast Guard for 16 years, um, loves lighthouses. So I thought, you know, what, what better gift to make him than a lighthouse that uh, looks like it's up on rocks. So that's what I've got here is I've got if you look at some white house, lighthouses, they're all white. Some of them are different colors, red and white. So I'm gonna go with the red and white theme today where I'm gonna use kind of this piece of hard maple as the, the, as the base. And then it will be pieces of this other thinner hard maple and this paduke to make up the white and red stripes. And then I've got a piece of wenge here that I'm gonna make for the top. So I'm gonna cut out squares, glue it all together. And then on the lathe, I'll turn it and make, uh, make the shape. So I'm really excited about this project. I hope you are too. So uh, let's head over to the table saw and get our pieces cut up. I've got them all cut down. They were all three by three. So um, I'm gonna glue them all together. I'll uh, go speed up through that and then leave it overnight and we'll uh, get it uh, on the, the lathe. All right, so I got it out of the clamps, got it on the uh, lathe in between uh, centers. I got my 60 degree here, just a spur drive here. One thing I didn't mention uh, yesterday when I was gluing it up, I did make sure that the grains were all running in the same way because I didn't want end grain, side grain, or whatever that word's called. But anyway, so I wanted to all line up. This hard, this maple is very hard. Um, and the wingay is just extremely hard. Um, the Paduk's not too bad. 
Got a little bit of tear out, but that was just some rough cuts. I'm gonna start taking a, a little bit easier passes. But anyway, so the object here is that's going to be straight. And then from here to here, it's gonna taper in a bit. This is going to have a, some shape to it. And then this is gonna be smaller than, than both of these. And then I'm gonna make a roof out of this one. So kind of that's the general plan. I did get it put into a chuck so that it's a little bit more um, secure. And I pumped the speed up to about 1600 RPM. So that's the general idea. So now we're gonna start uh, shaping the, the lighthouse. Wow, I'm very, very pleased with the way this turned out. Um, I've got a little hole here where the 60 degree center is. I'm hoping it's pretty secure in there. Um, I wanna turn the lathe speed down now, now that I've got it shaped. I'm gonna get it sanded, uh, but one thing that I'm, while I'm rambling on here is with the from past experience with the red of this, it's gonna wind up staining the um, maple. So I think what I'm gonna do before I even sand is, I'm gonna put a coat of sanding sealer on it to keep it, um, try to keep it from, you know, bleeding like that. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, so let's uh, get the sanding sealer and I'll be back.
Right before I uh, drill or finish and drill this, I want to, I've already sanded it up. I just want to put my logo on it and then sign it for my dad. See, that looks like it's up. So now um, I am going to just uh, put some walnut oil on this to preserve it. Um, and then I'm gonna go drill it. Uh, that way I don't get any oil down into where, uh, you know, I'm gonna put the, uh, the epoxy. So let me go get some oil. And what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna bore you with it. You've seen me finish it. I'm just gonna finish this in some oil, um, take it over the drill press, drill it. And then uh, I'll be back when it's all assembled and we'll talk about it. I could not be happier with the way that this turned out. Um, it did get a little bleed out on the end grain, even though I was took the precaution, but you know what, it's okay. I think it's, it's character. Um, and I'm, really, I'm, very uh, I'm very stoked that it came out this well. Um, I used a uh, two and three quarter inch um, drill bit uh, that you've seen me use before to um, drill this out. And I did that on purpose and I put this to the same size as that. That's what you saw me using those uh, calipers as uh, I was turning this to make sure that it was going to fit. But um, I hope that you also enjoyed this. And more importantly, I hope my dad enjoys this. So um, like I said, his birthday is going to be the day that this video is aired. Um, I really hope you enjoy it, dad. Um, I want to watch the video with you when we get up there, but um, I love you, uh, Dad, and I hope that you enjoy this for many years to come. My dad is turning 80 years young on Friday. So uh, anyway, so that's going to wrap up the video. Um, like I said, if you enjoyed it, give me that thumbs up. If you didn't, you know, give me a thumbs down. That's okay. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see other videos, click over here. If you're not a subscriber and you'd like to become a subscriber, click up here. Make sure you hit that bell so that you can be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.